Welcome to Review the Light. Today we're going to be taking a look at a battery-operated waterproof lantern. Um, it has no obvious brand uh, on the box anywhere, so I'll just go ahead and put a link in the description to the source from the, for the light. But um, and it's a little bit different than most of the lights I review, but I thought I'd uh, looked interesting, useful for camping, so I thought I'd take a look. If you want to see any of those sides of the boxes um, in more detail as I was turning around, feel free to go back and pause it and take a closer look at any of the pictures or specifications on the box. Um, here's the light itself. It looks uh, kind of like a jug of some sort, and um, one of the main features of this is that it's supposed to be waterproof, which I'll be testing out here in a little bit before I take it outside. Um, the instructions are here inside of the light. I will hold those up, try and get some contrast for you so you can see. If you want to take a look at those specifications, um, that's that side. Feel free to pause it again if you want to take a closer look. Uh, I'll just mention here that it says that the maximum high mode is over 100 lumens and runs for over 10 hours and this is off of three AAA batteries so um, that's the specifications for it there so the way that this kind of works is you have this compartment in here that you can store things that you don't want to get wet while you're camping or just running around outside doing else, whatever else you want to do it's not really designed so much as like a water bottle I feel like it'd be awkward to drink out of I would go to like pick it up and just have water falling out because it's so floppy. Um, you could probably use it for a water bottle in a pinch. This appears to be sealed up here where the electronics are. Um, um, they don't really specify that so much. I think it's mainly for storing things inside. Now, uh, one of the things that it specifies is, for example, your electronic devices or that sort of thing. The hole on the top here is a little bit too large for me to fit my phone and I have an HTC one it's a fairly common phone and uh, I can't fit it through there but um, this is also good for uh, washing it if it gets dirty these little plastic pieces come out just kind of remember the order that you took them out in so this would be like if you want to wash it, you can take those out or if you want to fit something that doesn't quite fit otherwise you can fit it in like that and then um, put those plastic pieces back on so that's an option you have if you need to fit something a little bit larger in. So this is nice you know if you're outdoors um, wet environment you can put something in there and kind of keep it water in a waterproof area which is useful useful thing to have around um, yeah so we'll put that all back together and then this sort of handle thing you can either take it off all together uh, if you don't want that handle or you can clip it on and have a sort of carrying handle there. At the top here the instructions say we've got open and close and this is on and off switch so I'm going to go ahead and twist that open and pull it off uh, revealing the cover and you can see most of this design is plastic for the housing of the electronics and silicone down here so it's not the most you know rugged like a lot of the flashlights that I uh, do are made from aluminum or some other metal material but this is more of a low cost sort of thing and it's just main goal is to be waterproof here so like I said I'm gonna be testing that later um, so I've got the three AAA batteries in there I'm gonna close it up and then this is the button to turn it on so when it's on here you can see it lighten up then there's the high mode and then it's got a strobe mode and then I click it one more time and it's off so again a single click turns it on in the low mode another click and there's a high mode and then a third one does a strobe mode one more time and it's off um, you also have the option if you want you can just have it without that part if you just want this light and you can see that there I'll kind of give you an idea it's just an obviously really floody light because there's nothing in there to focus the beam at all. It's just the bare emitters. And we'll take a closer look at those emitters if I can get my camera to focus well on it. There you go. Now you can see these, um, I don't believe the instructions say anything. The documentation says what brand these emitters are. They don't look like really any Cree emitter that I'm extremely familiar with, so I don't know what brand these are. Uh, not a brand of emitter that I know off the top of my head but you can see those three emitters there they are high output and they're not like the little five millimeter LEDs these are high output uh, LED 
but just not a name brand that I'm familiar with. So that is the battery operated waterproof lantern. And if you stick around for a moment, I'll be taking it outside and giving it a shot in the dark. Thanks. Hello and welcome back to Review the Light. We've got the battery operated uh, waterproof lantern out here in the backyard. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up, give it a shot in the dark. So here it goes. And find the button. There we go. So here you can see this is what it looks like. Um, due to the brightness, you can't really see the color that I'm seeing it. I guess if you look at the left edge there, the bottom edge, that's kind of the color that it looks. On my camera it's looking a little more greenish than it appears in real life. I've just kind of got like a white to orange fade. And uh, this is available in several different colors also. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, set it down and walk away from it so you can get an idea of the beam that it casts. If I were to set it there for instance. So as you can see, you can hopefully see on the screen that it is illuminating the ground around it. Plenty of uh, illumination to see by, not too bright on the low mode here, and I'll turn it up to the, ne to the next mode. There's a higher mode and some more light available. So that's what that looks like. And then I'll turn it on to the strobe mode. There's the strobe. I'm just going to try walking around a little bit here with it. And it's lighting my way plenty. Holding it with the cap facing my face so I'm not shining light right in my face. And just walking around and have plenty of light to see the ground. Even on the low mode, that would be plenty of light for me. And the high mode just kind of extends a little bit further. So now I'm going to take it out of its case and just see. This is what it looks like if I were to just shine it straight on the ground. You can see it's a very floody beam, nearly 180 degree coverage, extremely flat beam where it looks almost in entirely uniform brightness right up to the edge of the beam pattern there. So just a complete flood, very flat beam. It's actually pretty pleasing to the eye, just how flat it is. So there's that. And if I were to, unfortunately the hang clip, it would be nice if the hanging handle were attached to the lid and not the uh, bucket as it were, so that if I wanted to hang it somewhere with its, with just the lid, I could do that, but um, that's not really an option, but I could still like leave that there. This might make like a good marker, you can still see it like shining out of the edges, so. I might like set it on strobe mode if, and use it as a way to mark a position or that sort of thing. And draw attention to an area. Sort of flashing signal like that. Or obviously you could set it upright too if you wanted more light to escape and be even more noticeable. So that is the camping ladder. Oh and by the way I almost forgot uh, in between here I did submerge it in water and test it out and it did seem to be waterproof. I held it under about a foot of water for five minutes or so and um, had the lid screwed on tight. I couldn't find any evidence of water getting into the electronic section or the bucket section where you might store something that you wanted to keep waterproof. So that is the camping lantern. Thanks for visiting Review the Light. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks and have a great night.